welcome to the pre-show. That's right, we do pre-shows here. Basically, it's me with my camera off. Oh, hi! <laughs> welcome, everybody. I hope everyone is well. Uh, we've got a few people in the chat already, which is fantastic. Uh, see Squat over on twitch.tv slash 505 games. What's up? Uh, Kpar Anrad on uh, YouTube says, Oi, I'll oi you, sir. Thank you very much. Um, Ollie and Wobbly Radman over on the twitch.tv slash 505 games. Guys, it's great to have you in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. One and all. Oh, and we got a bit of a good time for you guys. Uh, so yes, uh, welcome to the uh, the pre-show, everybody. We'll do full-on intros later as we go along because that's just uh, that's just how nicely and kindly we are uh, we are um, operating today. Um, and to be honest, it's usually just me sitting here pressing buttons and making sure everything works before I um, show you my face as I cry. Um, <laughs> well, it doesn't work. Welcome to well, just just welcome to, to live video production, folks. I hope everyone is well. Um, chat, can you let me know what the audio is like, if that's all right with everyone? Um, I'm sure it's okay. He's got, oh, don't cry! I, I, May I am going to cry. It is, it's been, I'm, I'm, that's a promise. That is a change. <laughs> Uh, C-Squads in the chat says, game audio is quite loud. Thank you very much, Squads. Give me a second. I'm just going to quickly drop that down just a tad. Hopefully it's not too bad. Or I just need to actually speak up. Um, game down, James up. I can gear up. I can be very up. Don't you worry about that. Give me a second. Advanced audio properties. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. I did want to just... And some gain to my voice. Add some gain to my voice. There we go. Hopefully that should be all right. I'm going to quickly just drop me off just a little bit more again. There we go. This is the thing. We're, we're currently on the title screen, so it's not as um, it's 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 just not as like it's dominating at the moment. But I'm telling you, it's going to get loud, folks. It's going to get loud. Um, in the chat, uh, I still on the starting soon screen. Oh no, uh, game audio could still come down a tad. We can't see your face. I know, SK. I know. Welcome to the pre show where we don't have my face on. As I at this point fiddle around with faders to make sure that all the audio is live, and I'm telling you now, we're going to end up. Um, kind of meddling it throughout the stream as well because that is just how that goes. Um, anyway, folks, enough about the audio issues. I want to know about you. How, how what is everyone's days like? Is everyone all good? I hope you are all good. Uh, we're just going to wait a couple more minutes before we get into the game. Oh, that was a, a very satisfying cam crack. I probably should have timed that better. Never mind. Oh well. <laughs> um, welcome in, one and all. Welcome to the pre show. Um, we're going to be playing some Miasma Chronicles uh, today. I bet you can't wait for all that. I bet you can't wait for all that. I'm just getting told in the, uh, by, my, by my colleagues in the window that we can't see your face. I know, that's the whole point of a pre, of a pre show, everybody. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We're, we're going there. We're getting there. We're getting to the actual show. This is the show before the show. You know, you're getting a, at this point, you're getting a free radio show, really. Um, yeah, I've just been <laughs> shouted at. Fun fact, actually, as I was testing the mic whilst I was doing all this, um, Z Squad's James is powdering his nose. Um, li literally, I am making sure that I look pretty before any camera goes on, let's be bloody honest. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, but yeah, as I was uh, testing all the uh, <laughs> uh, as I was testing all the, the equipment and testing my microphone, just making sure everything is as it should do, I screamed down the whole office, and I got some very concerned colleagues. <laughs> it was rather funny. <laughs> anyway, um, okie dokie, folks. Shall we get on with the show? Chat. What we all think? I think we should. But I want I want I want confirmation. I want confirmation. Butternut Sloth knows exactly what this is. Dramatic face reveal, building the tension, exactly. You see, I, you see, this is how this goes, folks. This is how this goes. You do a bit of a pre-show. It's like, it's like when you're watching, uh, before your program start on, on like terrestrial TV. I know no one watches terrestrial TV nowadays, but before your program starts, you end up getting that little announcement that's just having a cheeky fun 
um, before the program actually starts, and then you roll into the credits. That's exactly what this is. Exactly what this is. Anyway. Anyway. Let me show you my face. Hi! <laughs> It, was, it wasn't that dramatic build-up, was it? I'm sure it wasn't. Uh, coming up on BBC iPlay. Exactly, exactly, C-Squads. That is how that goes. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, everybody around the world, welcome, welcome, welcome to twitch.tv slash 505 games and YouTube dot com slash 505 games yes we are live on both of those channels today um and more importantly this week we are playing some miasma chronicles i uh, know i know what you're thinking i know what you're thinking james you've been yaunting on about miasma chronicles for a very long time why do we have to see this all over again well let me tell you person who is also thinking that the reason why i'm telling you is we have launched. My Asma Chronicles is now out in the world, and we are here to celebrate with you. That's right, you, the community. Because let me flipping tell you, I am excited. I'm so excited to get this game out. It's so great to actually um, get get your thoughts, get your um, reviews out on it, and make, get people's thoughts and, and emotions going into this game, because this is a game you need to play, everybody. It really is. Um, so, we, um, we'll we get into the whole um, rigmarole of why we're doing this and playing My Asma Chronicles in, in, in just a moment. But before I go any further, um, of course, welcome to 505 Games Plays. My name is James. I am a brand community manager here at 505 Games, um, and I look after lots of titles, including My Asthma Chronicles. Um, we are live uh, playing My Asthma Chronicles every Friday throughout June. Um, so make sure that you uh, write down in your little schedules as to when you'll see my uh, my face, um, but also when you'll be getting um, involved in lots of the streams that we've actually got planned throughout June. So every Friday at 3 p.m. BST, uh, so UK time for those people who aren't entirely sure what that means. 3 p.m. UK time, which I think is 4 p.m. European, and I think it's 7 a.m. Uh, for the the West Coast, West Coast, Best Coast, of course. Um, then um, make sure that you note those down because we will be live. Um, but I know, it is a burp shirt. I do like my burps. They're, they're very nice burps. Um, thank you very much. And Gatoil, uh, uh, apologies, Gatobi, um, from is right here from Germany. Oh my word. What's up, my friend? It is good to have you in the chat. It is great to see you. I hope you are well. Amphi Squid is also in the chat over on Twitch. Thank you very much. It's always uh, uh, always good to have a good thumbs up, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, my Asma Chronicles has launched. Yes, it is out in the wild. Now it is out now on PS5, Xbox Series X and S, um, Steam, Epic, and GOG. So first and foremost, I want to give a massive round of applause. I'm um, probably a little quieter so you can actually hear me. Um, to uh, to everybody who has been involved within that project, from um, the bearded ladies, the guys over um, in Malmo in Sweden, um, thank you ever so much for having, um, first and foremost, the patience to deal with me. Um, <laughs> but more importantly, creating an absolute masterpiece. Thank you very much. Well done, guys. You've done a huge job. Everyone over uh, um, over here at 505 Games, congratulations, guys. Really, congratulations. Everyone has done an amazing job getting this game um, out and through the door, um, and it's down to literally every single person here at 505, whether or not you our big run in the cupboard um, doing all the IT stuff to um, to Fran over at NQA you have been an absolute dream to work with so thank you very much for helping us get this um, off, the, off the ground and into people's hands and more importantly thank you to the players without you guys we certainly wouldn't be creating any games of course but more importantly you guys have really 
really knocked it out of the park. The reviews have been amazing. The feedback has been absolutely wonderful. Um, if you've not seen any of the reviews for My Asthma Chronicles, you need, need, need to check them out. It is doing it astronomically well. Um, and we are very, very proud that, to see that people are enjoying the game uh, how we intended to make it. An absolutely stunning um, game about two brothers on a journey of discovery. It is, um, it's incredible. So again, huge congratulations to everyone, including the community. And one thing I do want to give a massive thank you and shout out to is, is our virtual uh, photography friends. Oh my goodness me. The shots you guys have been creating are fantastic. The teams love them. Um, and it is certainly something that we want to celebrate and shout out. So um, if you are a virtual photographer, um, please get in touch with us um, and we will make sure uh, to celebrate your work alongside everyone else's in the next coming weeks. Um, yeah, guys, thank you. This has been... This has been a, an amazing project to work on. An amazing project to work on. Um, and I'm absolutely stoked to see the response. It's been awesome. It's been awesome. Um, anyway, the chat, thank you ever so much. It really it really has been a work, a work of art to get, this done, to get this done and out and into your hands. Um, but we're not done yet. Um, we have uh, seen, of course, many people um, in uh, the, f uh, the Steam forums um, and, of course, online uh, mention and, and kind of report bugs to us. Uh, thank you ever so much for everyone who has done uh, and reported um, some of the little bugs uh, that we've found over... Um over the past week. Uh, we really do appreciate you. Um, just to kind of give everyone a bit of a heads up, um, from last week, uh, we did, sorry, was this week? I think it might have been this week. It was from this week, we began to start rolling out updates, addressing a lot of your feedback and some of the concerns that um, even reviewers had um, some issues with. So um, please be patient whilst we do that. We, they are coming thick and fast, and as soon as we get more information, we'll be able to pass them down to you. But lo and behold, we've actually addressed quite a lot of, uh, of what has been reported. So be um, keep your eyes out uh, early next week, <laughs> oh, sorry, um, for uh, some further updates from us. Um, oh, I've got a bit, of a, a bit of a tickle in my throat there. Um, um, so yes, um, so yes, uh, it has been an amazing week. Um, we've also got updates uh, coming out throughout this, uh, throughout June as well. Uh, shoot, shoot get that looked at i should i really should fran um so uh, <laughs> so this month is going to be a very busy week a uh, very busy month for my asthma chronicles um next week um physical editions of my asthma chronicles will hit shelves in europe that's right june 9th uh, you will be able to get your uh, physical copy of my asthma chronicles so of course we'll be celebrating for that um and more importantly uh well actually is equally as important um june 12th um, you'll be able to get physical editions over in North America. So make sure that you keep an eye on your local retailers as they'll be able to provide you all the information that you need. Um, so alongside celebrating all those launches and doing our weekly streams, I'm also hoping that we can do a bit of a board game stream. Yes, that is right. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have a board game for Miasma Chronicles. Um, it is not available um, publicly. It will not be available publicly. Um, it is uh, something that we kind of created uh, as a one-off little thing. Uh, however, what we will be doing is we will be doing some board game streams um, throughout June. Uh, so again, more information to come when I lock them all down. Uh, but also, we will be doing some giveaways on the board game as well. So make sure that you keep an eye on um, the 505 Games uh, local accounts, uh, wherever you are in the world, as well as 505 Games uh, UK. And of course, my Asma Chronicles, um, all over social media, we will give you the information that you need to know if you want to win one of these. Um, just to kind of give you a bit of a heads up as to what it is. So it is, it, it kind of clusters what's called uh, an escape room board game. Um, so effectively you are 
are tasked to... I've got, I believe it's find someone who's been missing from sedentary. Um, it is 18 plus. It is uh, one to two players. And it can probably take about 90 minutes. So it's a pretty decent board game, actually. Um, this one's also sealed, by the way. Um, I know, it's really sealed. Either way, this could be yours. Stick around. Um, over the, the next couple of weeks and we will be getting that as soon as possible i promise uh Gatobi in the uh, chat mc will be better than jagged alliance 3 i'm convinced well if Gatobi's convinced then i equally am convinced thank you ever so much mate it's been an absolute pleasure um, and thank you ever so much for your contribution towards the discord and obviously on social media we really do appreciate it thank you ever so much guys um, right, I've been talking for nigh on about 20 minutes now, and I'm sure everyone's bored of me. Uh, <laughs> um, so, what we are planning to do is begin our definitive playthrough of Miasma Chronicles. That is right. We have to start again. I'm sorry, folks. I'm really, really sorry. Um, so the reason why is um, the last streams, uh, the early look streams that we did, um, you may have noticed uh, that they were what we would call uh, beta branches and particular test builds that we could actually use to skip forward and kind of um, add, add, add some additional things that you probably shouldn't have um, received to begin with etc 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 um, and unfortunately um, the big old bosses over at the Bearded Ladies and 505 Games said no no James you must start it again from the beginning and I said fine Fine, I will. Um, so that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be starting our definitive playthrough. And we are going to be playing this um, over the next coming weeks uh, until its very end. Um, and then it's entirely up to you guys as to whether or not you want us to see something else and do something else. Um, so, <laughs> see squads in the chat says, to be fair, the start of the game is super cool. Exactly, who doesn't want to see the start of the game again? Um, and you're also going to literally see me play it as I would normally and naturally play things as well. So nothing too, um, nothing too over the top, nothing too, I wanna do an actual casual playthrough, you know what I mean? Um, so what I'm going to do is we are going to, well actually I wanna just quickly reiterate what we are going to be doing. So for, for the uninitiated, if you are just tuning in for the very first time, Miasma Chronicles is a TRPG, uh, a tactical RPG. Uh, so it's, it's kind of a tactical turn-based RPG, as we kind of call it. Um, and effectively, um, it is strongly a very tactical game, really. Um, we've seen a lot of people compare it to XCOM. We've seen a lot of people compare it, um, of course, to the previous um, Bearded Ladies game, Mutant Year Zero. And it's kind of a little bit of a, a mashup of the two slash with tears uh last slash with gears tactics and, and lots of other things in between it's its own little entity um my other chronicles is more than just a like a, a hard ass um tactical game but it is quite challenging um now we have actually seen a few people um, ask us about the alpha editor mode over on the community. Uh, we are aware of a couple of uh, a very small uh, number of the community having some issues with alpha editor and don't worry we are on it. They are looking to be addressed very very soon um, as I mentioned in those upcoming patches. Um, so, so please 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 we have been listening. We do listen. Every single bit of feedback I have personally written down in my notebook and I have showed it to the bearded ladies and they'd said, yep, okay, uh, and there you go. So that's how that works. Um, if it wasn't for you guys, we wouldn't have remapped uh, the WASD keys, the WASD keys. So again, see, we're listening. Um, anyway, so I want to play this as I would normally play um, any kind of RPG and tactical game, uh, which is on standard. I know, I know, everybody wants to go alpha editor, no damage run. And I'm telling you, no. <laughs> <laughs> Just no. I really, I, I, I know what everyone's saying. I know what everyone's saying. I would love to do that. My only issue, uh, uh, sorry, it's not an issue. My only concern is I'm not going to have a lot of fun. Therefore, you're not going to have a lot of fun. You're going to see me die a lot, and I'm going to get a bit frustrated. Um, so we're not going to do that. However, if 
I mean, obviously, we're, we're, we're here for a while. Uh, we're going to be streaming, obviously, all month and probably for the, re for the rest of the year. So, if the community demand it, we might consider an alpha editor playthrough. I want to see... I want to see the, those... Uh, I want to see you come together and convince me to do an alpha editor playthrough. Because I'm not fully convinced yet. Um, I don't know whether or not you guys want to see it. That's just how that goes. Um, so, if you are brand new uh, to Mayas for Chronicles, never played a tactical game before, then it is always um, kind of advised by ourselves that you either look at standard difficulty uh, for those who play games regularly but are new to the tactical genre, or you take a look at narrative. Uh, narrative is for players who want to experience the world and story without taking too much of a challenge. You will recover 100% of hit points post-combat. Most enemies deal less damage, and most enemies have less hit points. So it's it still have tactical combat. There is still some tactical elements in there, but it's a lot, um, lot more forgiving, shall we say. Uh, we're going to be playing on standard. Um, now, a lot of people do like the challenge, so hard mode, okay. Basically, it's the opposite of narrative uh, for experienced players of tactical games. And then, if you want to... Um, you can go for Alpha Editor. Uh, now, fun fact, Alpha Editor was something that we wanted to kind of bring in once you've already played the game before, but we decided to actually put it in because a lot of people like the challenge. However, we've also seen a lot of people not realize how challenging it is. Um, basically, it is like an Iron Man uh, difficulty. Um, it is difficult, some base rules are challenging difficulty with additional modifiers. Basically, manual save games are disabled. You cannot manual save. Unconscious heroes won't recover in combat, and difficulty can not be changed. No, you cannot change the difficulty. Um, of course, if you do want the challenge, by all means, go for it, but this thing is designed to be brutal. And I am a bit of a, 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 I'm a bit of a casual guy. I'm sorry, that's just how I go. Um, <laughs> um, Fran says we got through the chains and we will help. I'm sure. I'm so sure. Uh, so we're going to be playing on standard. Now we've also given you two other options here as well. We have full tactical a less predictable experience with more tension. Chal uh, chances to hit in combat are much less reliable, both for you and your enemies. Or we could give you light tactical. Hit chances for weapons are more predictable. Flanking enemies will always guarantee a hit and covers always grant the same bonuses regardless of distance. So again, if you want to uh, like, just experience the absolutely amazing story, and I'm telling you now, it really is. Uh, we tackle a lot of themes uh, when it comes to ecological disasters, obviously the world as, we, uh, as we're in it now, um, and just lots of corporate greed in there as well. So if you want to just experience the story, which I really actually tend to prefer to play, uh, then do that. However, uh, and go for light tactical. However, if we want a bit of a challenge and we want to play this, and let's be bluntly honest, we kind of do, that's exactly what we're going to be doing. So, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> we are going to be beginning our definitive playthrough of Miasma Chronicles right now. Um, we shall be continuing with these, uh, these stipulations uh, moving on um, until we complete the game. Chat, is everybody happy? Is everyone happy? I want to know if you're happy, Jarhead Nears. Alpha Editor is not as hard as some people say. Once you understand how the game works, it's easy. Look at this guy. Look at Pro Game. You know what? One thing I will actually mention is we celebrate everyone who 100%s the game on Alpha Editor. I'm telling you now, if you have 100% of the game on Alpha Editor and you can prove that you have pinged that achievement, please let them, uh, us know over at 505 Games. We celebrate you. We stand with you. Um, it's certainly something that uh, that I have... Um, <laughs> I, I, yeah, no. Um, oh, my word. It's going to be amazing. So, are we all good? Are we all happy? I think uh, Sea Squad's definitely happy crying about red pandas. Uh, the weirdo. Um, <laughs> folks... Let's play My Asma Chronicles.
Chronicle 1, somewhere in Kentucky, 140 years after the on the other side of this wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We ain't quitting. We'll find a little brother. We'll find her. Uh, Jarhead uh, Nida in the chat says, I finished Alpha Editor full tactical yesterday on Xbox Series X. Give My ass was kicking up. a round Let's of get applause. Let's go back to town. Chat, fix this can we get some love for Jarhead, please? Because that is a flipping feat, let me tell you. Well done, mate. Well done. That is awesome. Um, so, most of you who have dropped by my streams before have probably um, seen at least the beginning section. Uh, Here's the quickest way home. At least before. We've definitely done this before. When we began our early look, we literally started from here. Um, so I'm, I'm not going to... How about we take um, a look around? I'm not going to go through every nook and cranny Deep, look, and um, explain sure all of what is happening because everyone kind of really knows, but I'll, I'll go through the, the main top line here. Um, so obviously within the first couple of hours in the game is a little bit handy only. Why um, is obviously uh, to, to help like he wants me to reach out. out again. Elvis, you sneeze into that thing and it'll turn you inside out. Now let's go home. Yep, definitely sneeze in. Excellent. Yeah, well, literally. Uh, your head near the end of the chat the game is too loud. Um, is everyone else having the same issue? Chat, let me know what the audio um, issue is like and I can see if I can rectify it. Uh, it is pretty loud, says Fran Land. Right, give me one moment. I am changing the audio settings. Just dropping it down just a little bit. Hopefully that isn't as bad as we think. Yeah. Uh, okay, cool. Chat, let me know how that goes. That'd be great. Thank you all. That seems better. Wonderful. This is a thing with like playing games uh, and just game audio, just in general. It's um, there's a lot of noise happening. It's not like a consistent noise, so you're gonna have peaks and troughs all the time. So it's a very fine balance, I see. A very fine balance. Okay, let's uh, let's go into that, shall we? Uh, can hear you much better now. Fantastic. Thank you, SK. A great stability. I humbly accept this esteemed peace prize, not for myself, but for the pioneering spirit of all Americans. Yes, I am taking on the Jake Peralta of Brooklyn Nine-Nine post. Uh, we have righted the wrongs of our forefathers, healed the scars that divide us, and put an end 
to hunger and war, a renaissance for humankind, a great stability. Now let us work together to share this American paradise with the whole world. Yes, there has been a great stability, folks. Um, not too far into the future. Your family right here. Me. Somehow, yeah, but Diggs, the world has a... righted itself. Oh, Everything's what? been... Um, uh, e everything's just kick -ass brother. good. There's no brother hunger in the world. Had. There's no debt in the world. There's no ah, poverty you know. in the world. The world is... is stable. How did that happen? Locked. We need a key card to get in. Okay, we need a key card. So let's go find said key card. I'm just hunting around here for plastic. Because you never know. You never know. Oh, there we go. I, I told you, you never knew. You didn't know. Uh, let's have a look at that reconstructed fourth mail. Jenny! Jenny there, it's Tommy! Hope to hell you can you get this message in time. I got the kids were shaking up, but doing okay. And he's asking where mommy is. I'm telling her you're coming soon, but uh Max is completely obsessed with his toys, so good call on those. Listen, don't, don't, don't come to the bridge. Police are blocking the roads. Because, well, there are no roads. Meet me back at your uncle's place. Kids are safe. Everything's going to be fine. Oh, just one more thing I need. If uh, anyone's looking for voice actors, just uh, give me a call. You know what I mean? Just give me a call. I could do, I could do this. I could do this. <clears throat> Uh, right, I am after plastic, which is the currency in the game. Um, so, obviously, my Ezra Chronicles is out now, so I don't want to... <clears throat> forgive me. I don't want to go too far ahead with regards to spoilers, of course. Uh, there are a lot of people who've not played this game yet. However, so we, um, we want to try and keep everything a little bit spoiler-free to, to begin with, at least. However, I'm very curious. We know that Jarhead... Must have been some meeting. Yikes. We know that Jarhead has beaten the game um, and on Alpha Editor. First and foremost, Jarhead, like, you mentioned that it's a great game. What, what did you like about it? What did you enjoy about it? That's sweet loot. Now it's off. Sweet loot. Here I go. Here I go. Holding up for a hero to the... Ooh, no, wrong one. Hang on. Found a decent spot to hold up work and security at the door. And that's through the city. Should be safe from the collectors until I make a run for the scar. Then it's just a game of waiting for the rest of the editors. If they make it, only time will tell. Gameplay, tactical, flight, stealth, everything. Dude, yes! Yeah. Well, slap me I'm so glad you enjoyed it. I really am uh, very happy you enjoyed it. Um, we wanted to make a game that had an impact, had a, had a societal impact on the way that we are, where, the way that the world could become. And um, it sounds like a lot of people are... A lot of people are kind of agreeing with, with these sentiments. So, so yeah. I'm so, so happy you enjoyed it. Really, really happy. Um, anyway, so I'm curious why... Uh, we don't want to go too far into spoilers, um, or spoiler territory, of course. But plastic is the currency here. And there's a reason for that. I see it, but I don't believe it. What are those things? Uh, frogs. Frogs walking on two legs, murdering people. Those are not animals. Not people, neither. They're monsters. Goddamn monsters. What are they doing with... Wait. Hold on. That's the Vodder family. We don't fight anything we don't 
understand. We're going home. Hey, you are aware the only way home is through them? Shit. Hey, get Tiger tough, little brother. We get about to throw down. down. Uh, drop in the chat says easy to say one by the light and left, but can't say too much without spoiling Dude, That is very fair. Everyone's gonna have their favorites. Hey, you wanna get back Here to at 505 oh, Games trigger. HQ, we stand Come digs. On. We stand digs very much. We do. Okay. Uh, sorry about that. <clears throat> Combat is turn based. At the start of each turn, you get two action points per hero. I'm gonna shoot that enemy. Yeah. Uh, press right trigger to go, left trigger to the previous target. We'll take you out. Okay, so we're still in, in a little bit tutorial mode here, folks. We haven't got a lot of uh, wiggle room to play around. Um, uh, luck never liked me that much. Okay, enemies in partial cover will give you 35% chance penalty to shoot them. So if they're in partial cover, you might be a, you have a 35% chance to take uh, less to hit. So 65% chance to hit. Enemies in full cover give you a minus 75% chance penalty to shoot. Them. Covers are only effective from the front. So the idea is to flank them. So for example, you can see here that we have a 33% chance to hit these creatures here. Um, we're currently playing dig, so I'm just going to quickly try and shoot this guy. Oh, I missed. Um, so you can see. Let's see if we can take out this one first. Yes, lucky shot. There is always a 50% chance that you get a lucky shot. And the same goes to your enemies as One well. Left. And now he's behind full cover. Can't get a clean shot. Let's flank the bastard. Hit him from the side. That's right. You gotta flank. Uh, so move to the side of behind them because we have to flank him. Flank an enemy gives you a zero percent chance hit. How was it? Uh, zero percent chance hit penalty. So flanking them is more than likely you're going to hit. Uh, sniper rifles have a higher chance at long range. Whilst well, assault rifles have a higher chance at short range, worth noting. Um, chances of bouncers and shotguns, we'll get them at some point, are unaffected by range. So we're just going to quickly move Alvis over there. And we are going to take out the temple. There we go. You alive? Yeah, I think so. You? Rocking and rolling, we made these boys extinct. I don't think so. Look, we got more boys. Come on. So, Find chat, how is everyone doing? Right, is everyone all good? What is everyone's uh, plans looking like this uh, this weekend? Okay, let's see how we do. Use cover to avoid getting hit by and fire. Okay, let's do that. So I'm gonna, let's see. So I've got a bit of full movement here. We're still in the little tutorial section, but you can see what I mean here. So if I move Alvis and you take a look at the tadpole scouts to my uh, top left, um, right above, just, just, just there, just there, um, then you will see that their percentage hit chance goes up or down depending on where I am. So if I move Alvis there, I get 38% chance. They fall 50. Okay, I'm going to do that. I'm going to move Elvis over there. And I'm going to try him. Ooh, 63. I'm going to see if I can get this guy. Managed to do it. It's a lucky shot. Let's move all uh, Digsy Doo. Um, and I'm going to put him there. So 93% chance. Nice. Okay, so that one's down, and now we've got one tackle scout to go. Oh, you shouldn't have done that, big man. Come on. Uh, okay, can I? Either way, I can't really get much of a cover, but I'm going to quickly go there. Um, 
to switch to Elvis as well. Can I fly? I'm gonna fly. Okay, move Elvis there. And 100% chance to hit. Oh no! So luckily, I have all digs. I'll definitely take that. Whoop. <clears throat> Their buddies. We gotta get back to town now. Also, speaking of the near future, look at this Tesla Cybertruck. Ain't that cool? Um, so Killer Rhino in the chat says, much better than I was. I'm so unhappy. That is amazing. I'm glad to see uh, you're doing all right, uh, dude. Um, thank you so much for dropping by. It's always good to see you in chat, mate. I hope you are doing well. Um, I am doing really well, thank you, mate. I'm very, very happy to to read all the comments and listen to all the um, the reactions to my Asma Chronicles and actually get to finally play it and talk about it. Um, I mean, obviously, we don't want to go too far deep into spoiler territory here, uh, but for those of you who have played, I would love to know your favorite characters. Uh, why is this monitor kind of turn off? Uh, travel text location, there we go. You don't know what's making the miasma angry, do you? To know what's making the miasma angry, you have to know what miasma is, what it really is. And you have no idea. At least you know how to fear it. That's good. You see it turn air into poison, nature into nightmares, frogs into monsters. You know you can't escape it. The miasma surrounds your town like an ocean surrounds a lonely island. And it's spreading across America, twisting this once great nation into a lethal wasteland. So don't leave. Stay safe and sedentary. The dull, colorless mining settlement you've lived in your whole life. Put your head down. Work hard. Provide the gold that feeds America's rulers, the first family. And pray the miasma's anger doesn't wipe your town off the map. No one here is brave enough to conquer their fear or create their destiny. Except you, Elvis. With your big brother, Diggs, and years of hard work, you've harnessed your glove's power and now you want to find me. But you still don't know what it really is, do you? I could tell you. The revelations must be earned. So, so a secret, secret it shall remain. Me. Maybe in the future, it's as if I know this you will be strong enough to break through the wall and find <laughs> me. And if you do, maybe I will tell you my secret. But we both know you'll die along the way. Because between me and you, Lies the miasma. Um, Odin in the chat. What difficulty we are playing on then? Uh, folks, welcome into the chat. Uh, the bearded ladies, um, marketing dude, an all round awesome man who's joined me on a couple of streams. You may have known him before. Odin. Odin, can we get a round of applause, please, for Odin? in the chat um he has asked what difficulty are we playing on and so uh, if if you were here at the beginning mate um you would have uh, heard the discussions and heard my thoughts about what difficulty um we are playing on standard um full tactical um now what i'm planning on doing so as as i mentioned earlier as well i couldn't transfer my save over uh from my previous game it wouldn't it w the, the bearded ladies of 55 games wouldn't allow me to do it so i'm having to start again and to be honest i would much rather start again anyway just so i have a uh, proper a proper playthrough i'm not skipping anything that i need to skip um but also um what we're going to be doing we're going to be playing this until the end not today i've definitely not got time for that uh but we're going to be playing this until 
we beat it. And we then the mayor we, we are going to put the, the um, this community to much. task. I would he love them um, to vote whether or not we do an alpha He's editor playthrough, or we do it as part of you some form of do. special event. Um, wh whatever it happens to be. I, I, it's the community that's going to drive this. So I need to get you your feedback right, here. Um, so, um, like I said, chat, make sure you get some love to Odin, please. He loves the attention. Um... <laughs> uh, Katoni in the chat, so quick question. Uh, Chase, will there be some kind of roadmap? Uh, Katoni, we are, haven't got anything to say at the moment with regards to um, any further things for My Asma Chronicle, but when you do, um, you will be the first to know. It's your house, too. You should clean this yard up. Attract some customers. Elvis's repair shop. Um, so I'm just going to quickly meet around Elvis's uh, house at the moment. I know a good cleaning robot. She'll get us a discount. Keep talking to me about cleaning and I'll hang you up there. <laughs> uh, oh, we got a nice little uh, medipod in there. Uh, that's a very uh, dirty house there, Elvis. A very dirty house. Um, oh. I believe that is Elvis's letter. Uh, tonight is the night, Elvis. I must go. I must leave sedentary. Diggs will take care of you until you're able to take care of yourself. With his help and years of hard work, you will learn to harness the club's power. And when you do, come find me beyond the miasma wall. There, I will tell you who you really are and who you must become. Promise me, as I promised you, your mother, Bar Hardy. So, um, Bar Hardy has asked us to find her. Mama's picture. What do you remember about her? <sighs> Not a lot. <laughs> Didn't get much quality time. Kill the rhino in the chat. I keep dreaming Hopefully the hardest. She's left. a pro. I am a pro. Her giving me I am glove. a professional well, gamer, she put ladies and gentlemen. I am me. about uh, as pro as you get. Vonda, I just, I, I, yeah. I click heads and I rip them to shreds, as uh, the Mr. Andy Cortez um, of uh, Can of Funny Fame will Your mention. Mama would be proud. Um, but just to make <laughs> sure that I get through this in an enjoyable manner, and I'm thinking of the chat here, I'm not thinking of myself, I'm thinking of the chat, I want to make sure that we get through this pretty nicely, and that's why we're going through standard. Hey, Ooh. I just got that. Uh, I'm trying to quickly pick that up. There we go. Some plastic there. Uh, there's some black water beer. For those of you who haven't seen, we did a, uh, a little vlog of the launch day. We joined the bearded ladies out in Malmo. Um, in Sweden, and we um, decided to film a little video. You can catch that over on Instagram, over on the uh, 505 Games TikTok, and on YouTube. So make sure uh, that you check that out, and you might see some black water beer. Hey, try this moonshine. Daddy's recipe. You're welcome, Gatomi. Thank you for um, your support. Tree bark and uh, tire rubber. I mean, you can make moonshine from just about anything, guys. Well, in a town of dwindling resources, improvisation is key. Just, uh, <laughs> don't tell the sheriff. Don't tell the sheriff. Uh, okay, okay let's have a look at me that outside of town, Right Brock now, is? there's just a bunch of monsters? Like, like real monsters? Yeah, they killed the Vodder family. I think they're coming for the town. Ooh, I need a drink. It's moonshine o'clock somewhere, right? They're huge. Bulletproof, too. Maybe they got some kind of big boss alpha type monster. If we kill that boss, we might see the weaker ones back down. And, well, by we, I mean you. Damn law's been on my ass all week. Look, I didn't kill Clint Boone. Moonshine killed Clint Boone, all right? Who did hey, kill Clint Boone? What do I got to do with it? I ain't worried. Sheriff Zebedee can barely walk now. What happened to him? My asthma infection in his knee got a track of some <laughs> thiever in the Badlands. <laughs> Sounds painful. Um, Sounds pathetic. Now he's trying to recruit people to be his deputies. Rhino, um, you need to jump onto this and show it off to the community. You must, mate. You're gonna... I, I, I know you, sir. You are gonna have the best time, trust me. Um, have you played much? I've played. Uh, I've played a fair bit. Um, fun fact, though, I'll be and I'm, I'm laying this out now. 
I have not beaten the game yet. I've not beaten the game. I know, obviously, I know the beats. I know um, what what is uh, going to happen, etc. But I have not actually sat down and beat the game. I know working in video games gets all the time to play games. Um, I'm telling you now, that's not what happens um, in community management at all. <laughs> um, but I've yet to beat the game. Um, so um, I'm hoping that we can do it together. Hell, I remember our last bottle of whiskey. Yeah, I had a beer a Fran few has years made back. it to the end. <sighs> Don't even get me started on beer. God, I miss beer. There's a, like I said, there's a lot of the community out life. there that Sorry. actually know a little bit more about this game yeah, than I, I do. Know she died. Ah, That's no, weird. She's alive. We just That's got very divorced. weird. I don't know why so, I just admitted that. I'd never want to betray her here. confidence, but do you keep a secret? She stashed her valuables somewhere in the town. Uh, Kelvin Chess says, uh, well, you I can mad busy, I see, and here's all understandable. Is. Of course, you of course. Thank you again. your wife's stuff? No, not me. You. You should steal it. If you leave her with nothing, she's gonna come back to me. Look, man, you be doing me a real solid. Just give me 50 plastic, I'll tell you the location of her treasure. Uh, have I got 50 plastic? Ah, yes, good I man. Do. There's a gate behind the bar. Unlock it with this key, and thank me later. Okay. Keep I'm... on living, amigos. Keep on living, amigos. Thank you, Caleb. Um, so, um, Caleb has just introduced us to the fact that there are treasures to be found within Sedentary. Interesting. Um, and he mentioned that there is uh, something at the back of the bar. So I'm just going to quickly go back to here. There it is. Ooh, got some plastic. Go get the plastic. Um, That's nice. There's the stick of joy. A curiously contoured device was said to bring great happiness to lonely people who lived out their fantasies away from the outside world. As to where this was used exactly, records are uncertain. Uh, perhaps you should use your imagination like the previous owner. <laughs> um, Okie dokie. So, I don't want to necessarily rush through this, but as you know, we've kind of played through this area before, so I'm, I'm conscious of that, and I want to make sure that we actually get through this. So, we'll get through as much of this as we possibly can. So, let me just quickly get to the mayor. Mayor, listen, this is gonna sound crazy, but we saw monsters. Real monsters. What's with the hunched shoulders and sour puss, boy? I keep telling you, if you don't project power, someone's gonna take it from you. You heard what he said, old man. Monsters, right outside town. I'm talking to the smart one. You did brain it. Okay, okay, say that again. Diggs, calm down. What's he yakking about, monsters? That's what they were. Big, nasty frog things. They killed the Vodder family. Damn near killed us, too. Loads of them are coming for the town. You gotta do something. Mm -hmm. I knew this day was coming. What you mean you knew? It was the last full moon. The mayor of Pikeville was screaming at me on the radio about some invasion. I sent the sheriff out there for a look-see. He said the townspeople were gone. And the streets were covered with giant sacks of eggs. Frog eggs. I you can't let that happen here. Uh, look, you can get the town to fight. Nice. This is a mining town. Character. We mine. I think the actor no, the who plays Mason change sweet came back differently. It's more important than ever. You get through that wall and find your mama, Bob Marty. She's the only one who might know what's going on. Like it or not, Elvis, the fate of our town is in your fingers. Yeah, about my fingers. The glove's dead. I blew out the power core. Well, go find a new power core and come back here pronto. I'll take another look at your mama's data drive. See if she left any clues on how to keep that glove from breaking. And oh, one more okay. thing. Do not leave town. It's too dangerous out there. 
Cool. Don't move town. Woo! Level up. Um, right, I'm just going to quickly just scout around here. Uh, the party has just gained a level. As the party uh, levels up, all, member, all party members gain 5 health as well as 1 skill point to be used in their specific skill decks. Each hero's skill deck is found in the party screen. We'll check that out in just a second. Um, I'm just gonna, I'll, I'll check that out in just a second as well. I don't necessarily want to go through a lot of this stuff because I kind of want to, if I'm being honest with you, I want to rush through as much of this as I can so I can catch up to where we were. I believe one place to get a power core. the last stream we did, we left it. We, it's still pretty early on, but we left it um, with, uh, with Baxter. Hell no, get out. Bertha, please. All we need is one fresh power core. You blew up my car. Last damn car in town. You know how expensive that thing was? I do, and I'm sorry. My glove misfired, and... Uh, listen, we're on official mayor business. Official mayor business. I don't care if the mayor comes here and karate chops me with his tiny arms. Supplies are limited. I got merchants disappearing in the miasma. First family's giving me shittier gear, but if you happen to find me a torque jammer, maybe I'll forgive you for killing my car and give you a power core. Listen, we don't have... Uh, I got your torque jammer, Bertha. <laughs> oh, yeah? It's right out back, and, uh, Bertha, while I'm out there, I'll be holding on to the memory of your beautiful face. Okay. Get me that jammer, and the core's yours. Better hurry. It's my last one. Oh, Diggs, you flirt. What the hell are you telling her? Grabbing a talk jam is easy, little brother. Just gotta know where to grab. Border's been picked clean. Screw the border. We can go to Gator Zone. Your call. I'm <laughs> going, going to Gator, Gator Zone. zone. Uh, right, let's just quickly have a look at this party screen. So again, some people might not realize what this party screen is and how this works. The party screen shows the current status of the heroes in your party. Within the screen, you can equip and modify weapons, items, and miasma powers. You can also open each hero's skill deck later in the game. You'll be able to swap out party members. <gasps> you mean you can swap out party members? Yes. Um, skill deck. In the skill deck, you can exchange points for new active and passive tactical skills. Later, skills will become available when your previous skill in its repetitive branch has been unlocked. Skill points can be refunded. So you can easily reconfigure your hero's skill deck um, at any time outside of combat. So that basically means you can refund any skill. So if you feel as though that you have gotten into a bit of a pickle um, when you are trying to get through a fight and you can't quite make it, um, then it might be worth reconfiguring your party. Go into the skill deck, refund some of the skills, and respec just to see what works. It's always good to see. All skills are available in combat and active skills have cooldowns that last for a number of turns before they can be used again. Um, Pandorian Grey in the chat over on Twitch has said, is this out already? Yes! Yes, it is! Uh, My Asma Chronicles is out now on PS5, Xbox Series X and S. Um, epic. Games, Steam, and GOG uh, for uh, the personal computer players. Um, next week, Miles of Chronicles will be available in your favorite retail stores in Europe, um, as well as um, on in North America on the 20th of June. So it is out, folks. It is out. Bear with me just a second. I'm just going to quickly just check something. Give me a second. just want to make sure um, everything is displaying on Twitch correctly. It should be. I'm pretty sure it is. 
It is. Okay, okay, that's cool. Um, welcome to live video production, folks. Uh, right, okay. Elvis, Elvis, Elvis. I'm going to give Elvis uh, the Overwatch skill, uh, which is a tactical implant uh, which allows users to guard a specific area. Any enemies moving through the Overwatch cone will be targeted instantly. Um, for something truly special, try this with a crowd of enemies whilst using a weapon holding multiple rounds of ammo. Useful. Let's switch to Diggs. Uh, we can give him some health. We can give him a big bro status. Or I'm going to give him a sprint and shoot. Tactical implant, which can give users increased mobility in short burst. Basically, allows a bonus action after sprinting. We'll get to that in a moment. Uh, oh, actually, before I do forget, I'm pretty sure someone has a scope. Yes. I'm going to give that to Elvis. I got Yes, it's out. Draw ahead in the chat. What would have been awesome was to have two loadouts per character, including Dex. Uh, Dex. I think it's a Dex. To avoid um, changing every accessory, weapon skills, depending on the situation. That is not a bad idea. That is actually quite a good yeah, idea. I'm sure we'll take that back to the team and uh, we'll look into that. Um, obviously, balancing is very important. Here. We don't necessarily hey, want to go um, too far into lots of Did different uh, situations, but it is really interesting to, to note anyway. Oh my. <laughs> I'm kidding. I couldn't keep you out of it if I tried. You want some herbs? Trying to quit, Hattie, so I can focus. But thanks. Mm, so much of your mama and you. Wisdom is obtained by listening to the miasma. Do you know how it got here? The miasma? No one knows. I do. No heroes. No heroes? Without heroes, America drowned in poison. The poison impregnated Mother Earth. She gave birth to a demon child. The miasma. She hates us. Jarhead, you're doing the best you can, mate. Mother Earth hates us. You probably oh, speak yes. better English than me. Don't take it personal. Turn your frown upside down, like I do. <laughs> Namaste. Namaste. Uh, what's this herb that uh, Hattie's on about? The miasma produces some breathtaking plant life. If you see any unusual plants on your wanders, bring them to me, yes? Don't have time to smell the flowers out there, Hattie. Fear keeps us moving. Mm. I love Fear Hattie. is hope upside down. Fear is hope doing a handstand. You say some weird shit sometimes. <laughs> I'm the town crazy lady. What do you want me to say? Big fan of the town crazy lady. See ya. We love Hattie here. Um, so, fun fact, Hattie will give you a side quest later on. Um, or at least you will begin to find some quests. Um, so it's certainly worth um, keeping an eye out for some flowers. Oh, excuse me. I've got some. Uh, I need. I really need to get that looked at. I really do. Um, okay, okay. Uh, let me just quickly go. I don't I'm not crazy. think there's it anything in the show. I'm getting, oh. I'm getting stuff anyway. Well, we'll have a look at this in a bit. Hey, Elvis. Who are you, man? Uh, who am I? Yeah, skinny little you, kicking froggy ass. News travels fast. You in the hero business now? Uh, no, I'm... I'm a mechanic. Bitch, please. I throw a dog jam in the air, I hit a mechanic. What I need is a warrior. The mayor asked me to hire some deputies. You in? Listen, Frank, we're... This is my house. You call me Sheriff in my house. Sheriff, <laughs> the mayor didn't say anything about deputies. Sure, you're too busy trying to get through a wall you're never gonna get through. Peachy, until then, Peachy. your town needs you. Do you need your town? I guess. I'll take that as a yes. You Somebody are so flipping cryptic. So cryptic. Look out okay, for each okay. other. So, again, right. 
folks, we want to try and get. I want to try and get through as much of this as quickly as I possibly can, or at least certainly catch up to our previous playthrough. Uh, for those of you who do uh, who tuned in previously, jail, you would have so known that we kind of got good. a good like four to five hours in. Um, so it's uh, going to take a little while to catch up, but I want to make sure that I've explored every nook and cranny before I go into the game. Um, um, so just for the, uh, as people are just tuning in, um, and as a, a bit of a reminder, folks, welcome to 505 Games Plays. My name is James, I am a brand community manager here at 505 Games, and I have been working alongside the bearded ladies um, with Miasma Chronicles. That is correct. Um, Miasma Chronicles is out now. It is available on uh, digital platforms from PS5, Xbox Series S and e X and S, um, Steam, Epic, uh, Epic Games, sorry, and uh, GOG. Make sure that you give it, it a. Um, if you've not wishlisted the game or not bought, if you're not bought the game, make sure you wishlist it. And if you're not wishlisted the game, what's your name? Well, wishlist it. Buy it. Come on. Get the hell away from me before um, I pop the cap. Hi, the gaming ass. dad over on YouTube. Nice so to totally need to play this too. after I finish Bone Totem. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. We are. We have uh, bought up such an amazing community since My Asthma Chronicles launched. It is absolutely wonderful, and we want you to be a part of that. We really do. Um, I, again, we want to give a massive thank you and shout out to every single member of the community who has picked it up, who has given given us some uh, feedback, done some amazing comments, and has created some amazing photos as well. The virtual photography community are. We've always loved the virtual photography community here at 505. The stuff that you guys quick. do for Death Stranding and Control job. have been mind-blowing. Right? We this were not expecting wants. this sure, for my Asma Chronicles, for but I... No honestly, tears. Uh, tears came no down my you face my when I saw Everything's some easy, of uh, Shinobi Spaces. Uh, shots and everyone else's shots as well. They are beautiful. We want to celebrate the launch of Miasma Chronicles with you and that's exactly what we're going to be doing throughout the month of June. We have lots of streams happening, uh, whether or not that is uh, live gameplays. Uh, we'll see if we can get some people in from 505 Games and the Bearded Ladies to join us as well. Um, we're also going to be doing a board game stream, everybody. Um, where we are going to be giving away a copy of the board game to um, a lucky viewer. Um, so keep an eye over on the socials, follow My Asthma Chronicles over on Steam, um, and join into the community forums if you haven't done so already. We have a lot of really cool things happening within the community to celebrate this launch. Um, so keep your eyes out for all updates. Uh, speaking of updates, I want to give, um, a, again, a massive shout out and thank you to everyone who has um, sent us reports with regards to bugs or a little bit of issues and feedback with regards to the game. Um, Updates did begin to start, uh, did begin to roll out this week. Uh, you may have seen them uh, for PS5 and um, PC players. Um, yes, Xbox players, we have Baxter, not forgotten you. Um, we also I have some spread. updates cooking to find as out we speak, find and we're looking to get them out very, it's very soon. Um, You're not my keep dad, an eye Elvis. on the socials uh, for all updates as we're well. Still friends, um, right? We have them pretty much all raring to go. Um, we have this listened to every evil, single Baxter. piece of feedback you and guys have got, and I believe we've actually addressed I'm quite a lot of it as well. Um, so keep an eye on some, some news that we'll have with you very, you very soon. Like, Thank you so turn much. You into soup or some shit. Oh, sounds like you're sweet on me. Is he sweet on me, Diggs? Yeah. No. Oh, Dude. I love Baxter. What? It's cool. I get it. 
Who has time for friends when you're looking for family? Uh, Tyler and the uh, Gaming Dad and the, and the chat on YouTube you're says, I'm very glad it's been sold on GOG. Uh, Thank you for offering it on so many storefronts. Thank promise. you for letting us know where you would like to play it. Um, we then get in touch with said storefronts and we try and make that happen. Um, it's it's a very uh, fine My balance to kind of get stuff like this weird. done. Uh, fun no fact, shit. game dev. I difficult. Brag, but I am the <laughs> um, but we can town. try and make it happen for people uh, to play as much as we can. You don't get it. Uh, honestly, it's my Anthem Chronicles monsters. is a game that a everyone really family. needs to play. What? And we want shit. you to play it. I should have saw this coming. The last few weeks, there's been this hyper spike in the miasma's flux signals. Like it's getting... Angry? Exactly. Someone, something... It's pissing it off. Screw bad news. I need some good news. You got me? Uh, well, nobody killed me today. Wow. Real blast of sunshine, Elvis. You know the difference between me and you. I got a metal glove and you got a metal arm. <laughs> Cute. Difference is, I know who I am. Elvis is but you're such looking a flipping for someone light. to tell you who you are. Okay. Nerdy teenager. Tell me who I am. I can't. You are who I think you again, want to be. you've got to think of it, you though. Choose. Like, his mother left him at a very wow, young age. That's some deep She's shit, gonna Baxter. have gonna a that. lot of um, a lot of attachment issues, and he's gonna be a Good little bit distant. You, Elvis. Um, he wants Don't get family. Lost out he there. wants a hug from his mum. Like, that is Elvis, folks. Um, I'm also pretty sure there's something over here. Ah, there is. Yes. Gotta get that plastic. You gotta get that plastic. I also know where things are, so don't 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 worry about. Again, I'm just rushing through this. Ah, shit! More frog monsters. Keep cool, little brother. Remember hunting coyotes with mama? If we sneak up on the bastards, we can ambush them. That gives us the first move. What if they see us? What is groove? <laughs> <laughs> you can split with your group. Uh, split up members can be hidden in any cover position. While hidden, a shadow passive skill is applied, hiding your hero from the enemy. Spread out and find great positions before you engage in combat. That is the plan. So, before we go, we always hunker down. Uh, and we are going to split a little look the group up. So, I'm going to get Diggs to just sit there for a little bit. Uh, uh, we've got a bit of a hint that we can go there. I'm just going to quickly just Ooh. Ooh. Um, do I want to get Diggs here or do I want Elvis there? I'm going to put, you know what? I'm going to put Elvis somewhere else. I'm going to put him there. There we go. Elvis. I'm gonna swap to Diggs and I'm gonna put Doozy Do. Oh, do we take him out of that tap hole? Diggs is gonna get a good flank in there, which is good. What do you think will Let's happen if I shoot those fuel cans? Blamo, blamo, bye bye, froggy. Okie dokie. Uh, well, first things first, let's switch to Elvis then. And I'll see if I can get. Yes! So, folks, of course it's video games. We've got exploding barrels. We need uh, to, to utilize said exploding barrel. And when you uh, utilize said exploding barrel, that Tadball Scout is going to go boom! Oh, it went boom! Game over. Oh, it went boom. Uh, that tadpole skull crusher. Uh, we have a 76% chance of hitting. With a 15% chance to crit. Uh, we're going to move him there. 15% chance to crit. Oh. Okay, <laughs> this tadpole scout is moving over there. He's gonna give Elvis a bit of a a bit of a kicking. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna sprint and shoot with old Dixie Dude. 
And we're gonna put him there. And we've got an 88% chance to hit, 15% chance to crit. Then we're good. Oh, we're good. Yes! Uh, we are gonna move Elvis. Um, got a 100% chance to hit there. Froggy is now sleeping with the fish. Okay, so before we save the world, we do need to uh, to loot the place. We need to steal everything. Now that's just that's just video game 101. Uh, let's see what else have we got. So again, we are quite early in the game, so things will still feel a little bit handholdy, as you can tell within the combat, just to kind of give you some uh, some heads up as to what is around and what we can do, would be um, some choice options. Uh, Diggs can break down wooden barriers. Elvis can also break down, uh, can also do things. Um, I believe he is a mechanic. Uh, he, I don't, I don't believe. I know he's a mechanic. He is a mechanic. Um, so he can. Um, I believe that you will find some robots throughout the world, and he can restart them. And other party members um, will have secret things that they can do as well. Um, okay, we've got another barrier there. Uh, we always say hello to Mark the Gator King as we break through here. Hello, Mark. Um, and uh, we drop by there. Okay, where do we go next? Uh, we've got to move forward. I think we're over there. Yeah. Not say anything else. Nope. That's good. Oh, see the gators. That old timer needs help. Oh, Rusty. We'll sneak in and ambush these bastards. What the hell are you doing? What do you want from me? Okay, so. We have a tadpole skull crusher who is walking. We have a moving target, folks. Uh, we have uh, another, we've got another tadpole scout there, another tadpole uh, skull crusher. We've also got another walking um that's a scout. It is a scout. Um, so be mindful of walking enemies. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I am going to put Elvis there. Elvis, you hide. And you switch to Diggs. And I'm going to flank him with Diggs. Have we got a... I thought there was a burning barrel somewhere. I don't know. going to do is I'm going to now ambush. Red indicate uh, positions that are flanked by enemies. Uh, stars indicate that cover can be destroyed by things like shotguns and explosives. Interesting. So what I'm going to do, uh, so we can see, let's just see what we've got. Uh, we have a uh, tadpole skull crusher right in front of Elvis, uh, scout there, Tadpole skull crusher there and scout it there. And I'm pretty sure that's a skull crusher at the top. Yes, it is. So I'm going to switch to Elvis and I'm going to put an Overwatch on. So we're going to get Overwatch to cover those three. So we've got the skull crusher, we've got the scout, and another skull crusher. So basically, what will happen on the enemy's turn when a uh, an enemy walks into that cone, uh, we call it the Cone of Shame, um, they get shamed. Uh, they get shot in the face. Uh, so I'm going to just quickly just drop digs in here. I'm going to quickly see what we can do. Uh, we kind of want to get rid of that scout. The skull crush has only got 50 damage. Um, although... I'm thinking I might take out this skull crusher near Elvis. The reason why is because he's very close to, I think, attacking Elvis. 
I'm actually going to do? No. I think we're good. Let's go. Let's see if we can get this tadpole scout. 76% chance to hit. Uh, 70 percent uh, 25 percent crit. Let me just see if I can move them. Oh, he's gonna see me if I move. I'm gonna lose the ambush. Okay, come on. Stop. Miss. Okay. That tadpole scout is. Oh, I've been shot. Uh, we've got a scout over here. The scout missed. Yes. Skull crusher down. That's right. Oh, not bad. I'm hoping you're going to be on the cone of shame. Yes, you are. In the face. Nice and easy. I taught you how to do that. Don't forget. Oh. Got it. Oh. Oh, 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 yes. I'm, uh, I'm doing all right, folks. I am doing all right, if I don't say so myself. Uh, okay, I can't sprint and shoot, so I'm going to move. Dig's over there, and I'm going to 62% chance. 61% chance. to reload. Time to reload. Uh, but I can't. Oh, I don't think I can really. No, it's not good long range. So I'm going to quickly move him to there. This scout is going to take a pop shot at me, I reckon. Uh, well, it's Gamer over on YouTube who wants to ask a question, of course, of welcoming. Okay, I'm gonna quickly move all this. Uh, blank, we've got a 100% chance there. Seven percent 100% chance. It is a blank though. Can I get a 100% there? No, 65. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go from the side. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, folks? Those that know, they know. <laughs> well, Eve, what is your question? Okay, I'm going to quickly uh, loot the place first. Got a nice little burning truck there. We've uh, got to talk to old Rusty. Let's talk to old Rusty. He has saved my life. Hey, you're Bamati's boy, aren't you? Yeah. That's me. You better get back to sedentary. Like that, safer? Your ma used to protect our town. You know that? He knows Without that. Without her magic. Don't know how we're gonna keep this evil from killing us. As sure as night turns to day, old man, we're gonna find her. Yeah? Then you're gonna need my backpack. I got a frag grenade and <laughs> medical. The inside. backpack is like a flipping mm. Guess you're saving to our life. lives. You're gonna need <laughs> much obliged, old time. Thank you, Rusty. The backpack, um, I believe, is accessed uh, by every uh, I, in fact I know this, can accessed by every party member. The backpack contains all consumable items you found. Um, you can also access and use healing items in the backpack when not in combat. Remember that. You can heal out of combat, folks. All you have to do is get into the backpack. That's pretty it. Pretty much it. Okay, um, so I want to try and hurry this along. I want to see if we can at least try and find Jade before we stop the stream, which means I need to get a move on. Um, let me just quickly pick up a few bits. I do. Uh, ooh, keypads. Okay, so you may find some keypads in the world. 
and you will also find hints to the actual code scattered throughout the world. Um, now, if um, you would have, if I read, I'm pretty sure I found the code. Did I find the code? There's the uh, thing. So there's a codex here, new keypad. Let's quickly read it. The new keypad works perfectly. Thanks for getting it installed so fast. We should really get rid of, or at least disable, the old pad. It won't be long until a curious visitor works out the sequence. So make sure that you check out the archives um, of things when you see the keypad, because they will give you clues. And you can see to the left of this keypad is an old keypad with flashing numbers. I wonder what? Two, three. Oh, it's two? Hang on, I missed the other one. Okay, something four. So some uh, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, six, four. Ah! And keypads will definitely unlock really nice little bits and pieces that you might find throughout the world that you might need. Today's my lucky day. A vintage recoil, for example. Uh, we've got some more plastic. And we've got a chest. Sweet. Oh, we got a shotgun. Oh, hell yeah. Level one shotgun. 40% uh, damage, 60%. Uh, critical damage, 7 range. Uh, two ammos, no mod slots yet. But what I'm going to do... Uh, so I'm going to quickly go into my party screen. I'm going to be a nice old gentleman. And I'm going to unequip uh, Diggs's um, uh, rifle. I'm going to give him the shotgun because Diggs... I'd like to equip Diggs with a shotgun. I think he works quite well with a shotgun. I'm also going to... Modify... Uh, have I got that range scope? No, I gave it to Elvis, didn't I? I'm gonna get rid of that range scope on Elvis, and I'm gonna give it to Diggs it and put it on the shot. So it's gonna extend this range of this shot, which is gonna be very useful. Uh, Flint Gold in over on uh, twitch.tv slash 505 games in the chat says, was totally waiting for that to set off a trap. Um, be mindful. Be mindful. That's all I'm going to say. Um, and loving the look of the game so far. Getting Fallout vibes. Mate, thank you very much. It's a wonderful game. You really should um, check it out. Bioshock Chronicles is out now. Um, it is uh, made by the Bearded Ladies, the team that bought you uh, Mutant Year Zero. Um, and it's out on all platforms. So PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S. Um, X and S. Um, and uh, PC, uh, Steam, uh, Epic, and GOG. Um, it is available now. Uh, we are getting retail uh, versions coming uh, very soon. Um, over in Europe, uh, it is... I keep saying uh. Over in Europe, it will be available in on the 9th of June, so next week. Um, and over in North America, it will be from the 20th of June. Um, it is a tactical turn-based RPG. Um, so very... I get your point. It's very, like... Um, Fallout vibes. I, I, I definitely feel your feel your tone. Originals fought these monsters I think it's in a great war. A lot deeper than Fallout. Repeats, I guess. Certainly from a narrative in a world. This is a world that has actually like it was fine. The world actually like the, the great stability happened. Um, it was a moment in time in which the world was at peace. There was no wars. There was no hunger. There was no no droughts um but something happened it's like an ecological God, damn. disaster no happened. these bastards and well we're we here. gotta take them down hold on now sorry Flint, nothing for the commodore 64 or the without. sega mega drive guys i'm really Time sorry shine, little brother pretend the saw is in the chat what's up my friend thank you so much for dropping in i think that's the first time i've seen sun in this game what it's like early on. Come on. Oh, we've got corks of grey here. We need to be very, very careful. Um, 
So let me just double check what we do. Have a tapple scout there. He's gonna come round the corner any minute. Um, I'm gonna quickly um, split them up. I'm gonna pop. Oh, Diggs, you stay, stay, stay. Hide. Thank you. Um, It's not always raining, not everyone's dying. You've clearly not been to the DRC yet. Where am I putting Elvis? Where can I put old Elvis? You know what, I might put him here. Actually, you know what? There's some red barrels there. Give me a second. Hold your breath, everybody. James is going stealth. Just gotta hold your breath, make sure we scout the place first. Oh, oh, oh I got a minute! Can I get out there? I can. Come on. I wanna time this just right. gonna hide. I want to time this just right because we can see there we have some red bulls, barrels. So I want to get him, that tadpole scout, into that barrel. Okay, we're gonna ambush. Um, Diggs is. What's that shotgun looking like? Ooh. Not what I was expecting to be honest, but never mind. Uh, let's just quickly swap my hand back. Uh, with 91% crit uh, hit on that, 66% chance on call. Um, I haven't got an overwatch for all this hour. Oh, I've got a to go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Woo! That froggy go fly. Okay, we have. I'm gonna quickly. Can I get. I'm gonna. Ooh, do I take that crusher? I'm gonna take that crusher. Oh, I missed it 91%! <laughs> Jar head in the chat says you can end this fight in three turns. No, I didn't. I definitely didn't. <laughs> Wallage, you've got no, no, nothing to apologize for. Unfortunately, I'm not entirely sure what you mean by your question. But I'm wondering whether someone else in chat can help. Um, and, uh... Anti C in the chat says, Hi, cool game. A good job has been done. Everything is as I like the plot, the turn based strategy. Thank you ever so much. Again, this community is freaking amazing. Thank you. I'm so happy you enjoy this game. Uh, right, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Backpack. Um, is the 5 of 5 website down? Just curious. Um, just continuously loading for me, uh, says Flynn Gold in the chat. Um, uh, folks from 505, can I get someone to just quickly look at that, if that's okay? Um, I just want to make sure we're uh, not down and uh, we're doing all right. What you gonna do, coward? Nothing! Uh, a button up, thank you, button up. Uh, open that backpack. We do have a nice little flag grenade there. Uh, or do I put Overwatch on first? I might, oh, the thing is, if I do that, I mean, Cork's going to try and hit me anyway. Can I move out this again? Mm, I think I've already moved him once. No. Yeah, let's put this out there for a second. Psst. 
we'll do that. Then we'll get in the backpack for digs. We'll throw that grenade. Over on Korg. <laughs> Don't look up. And then I'm also gonna shoot this skull crusher in the face. So what should happen is these skull crush tadpole scout is gonna go after get out into cover. The skull crushers are gonna move. Oh, Korg's moved. So I've got a shot on him. Uh, the score crusher should move. Yes, one down. And the other one should move. Yes! Come on! Took me long enough. Uh, Diggs. Uh, we've got another shot on Diggs here, so I'm going to quickly move him. Can I get him to take on Korg? I think I can. Chance it hits, fifteen percent chance to crit. Yeah, did yes, yes, you sure. And we're gonna get Alvis. Alvis needs to reload. Alvis can't make that shot though, but he can get me there. Let me just. I want to make that shot. Oh, but what are you doing? Can you go there? Can you make that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see this blanking. every day. Oh, I don't know what I've done. Like an absolute muppet. I didn't realise I was still had a shot to go. Move digs over there. Kill him now, human. Kill oh, bastard got me. I've got a bit confused with what I was doing. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I can I get a good old shot there? Can I get a good... I'll get a good shot there. Let's do that. As you can tell, folks, I am not the best tactical player, which is why we're playing on standard. I'm going to put Elvis there. I'm going to get him to pop off. Did he go down? Yeah, barely. Oof. You? <laughs> I can do this all week. All How about week, grab this thing and go home? All week, okay. you can do it. Oof. I'm um, just making sure I've got all the loot. We did see a gator just then. If anyone uh, paid attention. Uh, torch jammer. Right. A torch jammer. Rusty, but it'll do. Uh, let's get back to Bertha. Let's just make sure I've got everything. Diggs has energy for days. Diggs is a robot. He didn't run out of energy. Making sure that I've got everything. I'm pretty sure I have. Just squeaky. <laughs> he doesn't. He, he, digs needs oiling every now and again. You gotta oil digs every now and again. You gotta oil your digs every now and again. Just squeaky, squeaky, squeaky. Okie dokie. Uh, right, I think we're good. Uh, so I'm gonna quickly fast travel back to sedentary. There we go. I'm quite interested to see... It's very interesting to see everyone's different approaches to things. So if you are a content creator um, and uh, you are a streamer, a YouTuber, um, and you do, like, video-based uh, combat, I would love to Let's see... Let's get this torque jammer to birth. How, you, how you tackle these particular like fights. Say, I've got my kind with, of... With, with. Um, Thanks, Diggs. <laughs> skip it again. Skip it again. Um, I've got my ways of how I, I kind of like tackle things. Uh, I also... Elvis and Diggs, uh, get over here! I'll, I'll talk to people. Uh, the evil energy surrounds our town on all sides. Uh, but see, we shall is, not see Oh, it. there is uh, Bertha. What is her name, Bertha? 
Here's that torque jammer, Bertha. Just like I promised. I almost didn't clean him yet. Hey, let hey. Know him. He does. Took you a while. Dark somebody time killed you, boys. Sure. And me and Elvis, we don't kill easily. Deal's a deal. Here's a power core. Don't blow yourself up now. It's all about maths and stats. Interesting, Jawhead. I must admit, Say, this is probably my one of my first like glove? tactical my games I've me. ever really played. Wanna so um, I'm, I am lifetimes. learning quite a lot, Thanks, um, and I've certainly Thank understanding right a lot back. of the strategies Stores that can go in it. Um, oh, like I said, I might not have been the game um, fully, but I certainly know how how best I certainly um, do well with it, if that makes sense. Um, right, okay, give me a second, so I'm just going to go to uh, the points screen, I'll go to my skill deck, um, and I'm going to give Elvis an armory to shot, which will remove two armor points from target, and digs. I'm going to increase his health. I'm also going to give Diggs... I've got a power core for Diggs. Has one time we're moving to and sprinting. Let's give that to all Elvis, I think. I know. Only tactical games I've played are Miasma and Mutant, so... Interesting! I'm, I'm just out of interest and just just just, just, for, just for curiosity's sake, which, which one's better? Got that glove working, boy? It's working, man. You're not a second too soon. Gator Zone's crawling with monsters. Why the hell were you in Gator Zone? This brainless bot dragon? Uh, brains is all you got, Jarhead. <clears throat> Elvis, I hit the jackpot. Found an encrypted file in your mama's data drive. It's all about increasing your glove's power. Hell yeah. What's it say? Well, that's the problem. I can't understand a goddamn lick of it. Read this. To heal the miasma and pay our debts, absorb the anger of a wild Yes, your head. That was the right answer. In turn, the miasma gives an <laughs> editor a reward. Power for your glove and balance restored. Some kind of riddle. You know what she means? Heal the miasma. Editor, I don't get it. Me neither. What's a vortex? Damn it. Trying to figure out my asthma's like punching a tornado. Tornado? Hold on. Near the wall, we saw some angry miasma. Yeah, swirling around. Like a vortex. The glove was pulling me to it like it wanted to grab it. Maybe it did. You should go investigate. Could be the key to everything. But the frogs are out there too. Could be dangerous. Wanna see danger? You looking at them, old man? Elvis, <laughs> clock's ticking. Let's go. Um, yeah, Jot cool. in the chat uh, over on twitch.tv slash 5 games. The only thing I miss I'll from keep you is tactical for being more a silent clues. skill and skills reset on kills instead of turns. Interesting. Interesting. Great feedback, guys. Like I said, we, I mean, we began doing updates uh, this week, uh, so stay tuned for more information on those. Um, we will be uh, be able to announce some things uh, very, very soon. Uh, make sure that you follow uh, My Asthma Chronicles all over on uh, social media, whether or not that is Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, uh, Reddit, Discord. Uh, make sure that you come and join us um, and have a chat. The, the community is certainly something we um, celebrate here. Uh, not only just at Fire 5 Games, but also with the bearded ladies and also um, certainly for the people at Team My Asthma. So we want to celebrate with you and um, well, we, you're the best people to help us celebrate, you know what I mean? Bodies are gone. Frogs must have come back to finish the meal. Yes. Nasty. Ugh. It's a bit grim. Right, okay. Now, I have been burnt on this fight a couple of times. Um, for those of you who actually saw uh, my All first right. stream, 
I got my ass handed to me on this one. This is a tough one. This is a tough one to begin with. Time to kick some To kind of, uh, once you've kind of got the vortex, sorry, sorry, once you've got the torque jammer and onto the vortex, this can be quite a tough fight to be, um, to be dropped into. So, you know what? It's totally fine if you, um, die every now and again. You know what I mean? It's all good. Okay, I'm just going to quickly do here as well. So, we have a Skull Crusher, we have a Scout, uh, and we have... Uh, that's it really, Skull Crushers, Scouts, and Scouts. So actually, hopefully, it shouldn't be too bad. Okay, I'm just going to quickly grab this Medipod, just in case. Uh, we have someone by the barrels. So... First things first, we are going to shoot uh, that barrel. I'm going to take out that scout. Whee! Go to sleep. Uh, Diggs is here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we are going to. Have I got anyone? Mm, not really. I love a good shotgun, but if no one's really in my range. chance to create if I do a skull crush and take a chance of it. Maybe. Oh, nearly. Nearly. System works well since you're already over on Twitch, uh, but I could see a combination of the two, like skills reset on kills. If kills are silent when in turn combat, it goes back to turns. Interesting. Okay, Diggs is having a bit of trouble. Don't you worry, old Diggsy do. We're gonna grab you a uh, a lovely little shotgun there, and we're gonna hit hit and go. Boom! Another one bites the rust. You got it. Another one bites the rust. Ah. Get out of here. Go. And another one. Game down. over. Another one. Down. Ah, another one bites the rust. Ooh. Give me a crit. Give me that crit. Ah, damn. Come on. Okay. Uh, let's do a sprint and shoot. Digs over there. Five percent chance to crit there. We should have a fifteen percent chance. Yes. Oh, come on. That's not fair! Note I haven't died yet. Last time I died. You all right, little brother? Yeah, yeah, I'm all right. I'm, I'm all right. Yeah. 
You see that? The glove sucked in the particles. Oh, it's buzzing like a beehive. Running a test. Oh, that's crazy. Power's just gone way up. Uh, that mean you got some new tricks up your sleeve? Hell yeah. Not enough to break through the wall, but let's go back and tell them. Oh, the grabbers are back at it again. Come on. Come on. What do we have? So we have, that looks like a skull crusher to me. That's a scout. Oh, more of these assholes. I'll give them a taste of this new vortex power. Okay, use my other powers in combat to shift the odds in your favor. My other powers cost kilowatts. Energy cells can be used to replenish Kilowatt. You can edit Miasma powers uh, for characters with Miasma gloves from the party screen. So again, just like um, guns, you can edit these powers. We're going to be using the Miasma Storm ability, so I'm going to quickly pick up this target and we are going to move in into this barrel that we have found here. And it's also, it looks like we can take out our scout as well, so let's do this. Come on! Okay, so we have a skull crusher and two scouts to go. Uh, and we'll and it looks like Elvis still has 60 kilowatts. So I wonder if I move that all you got. Ah, oh, damn! I thought I could. Never mind. Uh, okay, now quickly. This can take the hits if needs be. And I'm gonna. Ooh, can I get any. Can I get. Oh, I can't quite get them in the cones. Uh, which is fine. So we'll just go for that. And we'll try and take out the scout. Got a critical hit though, that's good. The scout's just took a pop shot Elvis. Goodness for that. My system's shutting down. Oh, goodness me. We should have healed. We definitely should have healed him. Oh, damn it. If a hero is injured in combat, they're no longer able to act for, uh, for the remainder of the encounter unless they are revived. You can throw a Medipod onto an injured hero to revive them. Otherwise, the injured hero will get up after the combat encounter. Um, Be able to? Yes, I can. To the rescue! Okay, I'm going to get the healed there. Hey, how you want? I'm going to heal Elvis with one turn. Rise and shine! I owe you big time. And then I'm going to get these pair in uh, a bit of a pickle. We now have another AP. So I'm just going to quickly return one AP because I've got a critical hit. Yes. Oh, and we are enraged. My scout's going to hold these. Just a flesh wound. When your heroes kill enemies in combat, they generate rage. Uh, when the rage bar is full, the hero's next shot will get a 100% bonus to its critical chance. We get a 100% crit hit. Any um, chance, any value above 100% critical hit will get converted to extra bonus damage. Um, so what we want to do, uh, we're not going to be able to hit that shot. We might be able to 
here. Oh, 115% chance. Yes, I like this some damage me. I do like some damage on me. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to hit. I'm moving now. I'm right oh, here, dipshit. Come and get me. I wonder if we can just quickly. There ain't no way. There ain't no way. So I'm gonna hey, you! Behind what you waiting for? So he's gonna try and hit one of us. He wasn't gonna move if I put Overwatch on. That was the issue. Oh, he moved! Well, that's just not very nice. No, we did 53%. Go back and tell the mayor I've powered up. I'll take that. Quality bill. Uh, right. Okay. Let's uh, continue on to the map. I don't think we've missed. I don't think we've got a fix of any loot. I don't think there's any loot that I need. No. So we'll quickly fast track to sedentary. Ah, fast track. Fast travel. Sedentary. We're back in business. If we can find some more vortexes, your glove gets enough power to blast a hole through that miasma wall. And we find Mama after all these years. Let's talk to the mayor. That's it. We're understanding. Build up more miasma powers. Power up the glove. Blast here. through the wall. That's time. the goal, folks. That's the goal. Daddy, we gotta leave town before these things attack. Now, I'm staying right here. Mayor Mason will know what to do. Mayor Mason. Elvis, you get something from that vortex? My glove's got this new power. Rips through frogs like a knife through jelly. Well, slap my That's job. a bit good. Fantastic work, Elvis. But can it get you through the wall? He bumped up my total power, but we need more vortexes fast. Ask and ye shall get. I decoded another one of your mama's files. Read here. To break through a wall most vile, heal the miasma once defiled. Each vortex offers a reward most keen. Your glove is ready when blue lights turn orange. Huh. Guess nothing rhymes with orange. Mom and her riddles. <laughs> so when my glove's lights change color, we can bust through the wall and find her. But where are the vortexes? Sadly, she doesn't say. But I bet anything a certain family knows. <laughs> they know all. The first family. Bingo! Give the boy a star! I heard reports of a first family airship crashed up north in Happy Hills. If you can reach the ship, grab its data drive, then bring it back here. Hold on. Happy Hills is off limits. Those are your words. Hear me now and hear me clear. The miasma is more than nasty weather. It's an evil energy that has brought America to its knees. Dividing states once united, poisoning communities, pissing on our values. Okay, Mayor, okay. We don't have time to wander. We'll get the data drive. Proud of you, boy. Okay, God's so we gotta head to Happy Hills. <laughs> Better be worth it. We gotta head to a place called Happy Hills. Hills is on the far side of Widow's Mine. To get to Widow's Mine, we gotta get past the Skywell. Come on. This is way above our pay. So whilst we do that, let me just check the health of them. Uh, they're all fully health up, health up, healed up, whatever we want to call that. Uh, however, they do have some skills. So I'm going to just uh, maybe give Elvis a bit of a health boost, and we're going to give uh, Diggs a big bro. Cause you never know when you need to rely on your big bro. 
So what we're going to do, we're going to quickly head to the next area and then we shall be calling the sure? stream I'm sure. here, this if that is all right with everybody. Um, obviously, I want to give a massive thank you and shout out to everyone. Um, whether or not you've been in the chat, whether or not you've been lurking at home, uh, both over on Twitch or on YouTube, we really appreciate you. Thank you ever so much. Um, as a quick reminder, My Asthma well, Chronicles is live now. Um, um, it is available digitally on PS5, Xbox Series X, and S, um, and over on PC. Me. That is Epic, Steam, and GOG. And that's playing James. Have a great weekend, everyone. You too, Odin. Thank you ever so much, buddy. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks, friend. Should you boys be out here alone? Uh, look who's talking. What are you, 19? Something like that. <laughs> I'm Jade. Gun for hire. And I'm gonna allow you to hire me. Uh, this got nothing to do with you, darling. Go home. Does the robot talk the whole time, or do you have a say? Uh, well, thanks for the offer, Jade. But we work best as a duo. Yeah? Not anymore. You're on the grabber's hit list. Grabbers? It's what the frogs are called. They've been tracking you since that little dust up in Gator Zone. And now, down this path in a perfect little kill box, they're fixing to ambush you. You know about these grabbers? Yeah, I know a lot. Pretty amazing. <laughs> you two go in there, zero chance of survival. You go with me, whole different story. You might even learn something. What do you want in return? It's who I want. Same who you've been trying to find your whole life, Elvis. Thing is, Jarhead. Um, uh, okay, she doesn't know Jade. He doesn't know Jade. why are you, why are you trying to work my brother? Diggs, hold on. Bamati's our mother. You know her? I know the legends. I got a problem with the first family, and I need her help. I'll leave it at that. You get me through that miasma wall to meet Bamati, I'll keep you boys alive along the way. We got a deal? Can't argue with that. You're in. Right! We have met a new party member. We have Jade. Jade is a great character, as Jarhead over on Twitch has pointed out. She really is. We shall be uh, continuing our definitive playthrough of Miasma Chronicles next time. Um, next week, actually, in fact. Um, but, folks, um, so we shall be able to actually go ahead with Jade and show her what she can uh, guys, really do. That way. Um, First, however, before we do go, um, we shall be calling the stream here. But before we do go, I'm going to give again a massive thank you and huge congratulations to everyone involved within My Asper Chronicles. If anyone is still in the UK office and wants to come in, um, feel free to do so now and we'll have a, a jolly good old. Uh, Got old uh, clapperoo uh, and wait thank you for everyone else so please come in folks if you are still uh, watching i'm pretty sure most of you are either gone home or in calls i can't remember um regardless we want to give a massive thank you and shout out to everyone um within the community who has embraced uh my Esmer chronicles has taken um uh, hold of both elvis and Diggs's story and really seen it uh seen them for what they are a journey of discovery for both of them um my Asper Chronicles is out now, folks. It is out now on both PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S, Steam, got a GOG and Epic Games, and it is absolutely wonderful. Please make sure uh, that you follow everything from 505 Games, whether or not it is uh, the Twitter, the Facebook, the Instagram, and more importantly, go follow us over on Twitch, um, and also for everything else, um, surrounding us as well but for us over at uh, 505 games we want to give a massive thank you and shout out to everyone here so please 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 come on don't be shy <laughs> never mind 
<laughs> congratulations. And we want to give a massive congrats to everyone over at 505 Games, the bearded ladies, and more importantly, you guys for an amazing, amazing uh, launch. Thank you ever so much, folks. We shall be seeing you next week. Bye!